do You know that you're feeling it too This is the big night. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. At least us two. Uh, yes, the two of us. Um, it's taken a little longer, but we have, which which wing is this? This the, is the right? This is the uh, right. Yeah, the right. The right fuel tank. Uh, I always get that mixed up because the plans, I believe, show you how, you know, to the left, but... It just so happened that the parts I had available at the time were for the right, so we did the right one first. Um, so we are going to we're going to test this thing and see if it leaks. Okay. So you'll notice we have a highly technical rubber uh, or not rubber uh, latex balloon here, and I've just got it so it's zip tied on. Okay. And I have an AN fitting over the fuel pickup, so this is a cap, so that's capped off. And then um, I have the cap on it and I have some tape over the cap as well. In the past, these caps have been kind of known to leak. Okay. So I put some tape over it as just as an additional measure for sealing. What we'll do though, when we're testing it and we make sure there's no leaks anywhere else, then we'll take this off to make sure that the rivets around here don't leak. Okay, either, so. so it's a separate step. Yep, yep, so uh, it'll all be you know, it'll be kind of blended together here. So um, basically to do this, I had the air compressor set on, I don't know, about one PSI. You do not want to put serious pressure in this thing because it will burst the tank. Uh, the balloon will help with pressure relief, uh, but still you don't want to put a lot of pressure in this thing. Uh, and then we have a sprayer of soapy water and we will spray it all around, and uh, hopefully there are no bubbles that get created. Knock on yes. the wood here. Yep, yep, yep. Um, yeah. And we didn't have that with the seven. The both tanks were good. Yeah, we, with had, the no, seven. we had no leaks. It was. It, it was, was awesome. Yep. Okay, and then um, I guess I just let you start. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna put a little air in through the drain valve here. Let's put that. Oh, you can see the balloon starting to inflate a little. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's a good sign so far. We have air movement. Okay. It is. Sounds leaky. It is leaky, but it's leaky where the balloon is. Okay, what's going on? Okay, so uh, the balloon that I got was a party balloon, and it is a little bit too big for the AN fitting. So uh, I've got some pliers. I'm going to try and tighten down these zip ties a little bit so the air doesn't leak out of the balloon. Did we do that last time? I don't remember doing that. We actually built, didn't use a balloon last time. Oh, I thought we, we built did. A, no, we built a manometer, which is, well, you know, another way to do it. But we used a column of water and yeah. measured the height there. It was, it was a lot. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's see if that's got to tighten up now around that balloon. I don't think it does. Mm -mm. I'm gonna put a little bit more air in. I put a third zip tie on uh, in hopes that that gets it going for us here. How do you know when it's full enough? Yeah, it's probably full enough. That balloon feels kind of firm. So let's come over here and start spritzing it. Oh no, the pumper doesn't work. Your sprayer. There we go. 
It'll be nice and clean and smell good. It, it will. When it's sudsy, how will you know see, you see bubbles? Here, here, I can, I can tell you right here. See, like I told you, the gas caps leak. See how the bubbles are blowing up there? And this tape isn't very good. This is just painter's tape. But see? Oh. Yep. Oh. It's leaking out from around the O-ring on the gas cap. Oh, okay. Right? Exactly. So that's how you know. So, and you can see where it's... But now your bubble, your... Right yeah, now right. my, now my right. balloon's probably flat. Yeah, don't do that. It's dripping. It's dripping. Okay, if it's still got some pressure in it, we can finish up. Oh yeah, it's still got some in there, so we're good. So that's how you can tell, you can see. Yeah, but how will you see it on the rest of the tank? Oh, it won't there, be as there significant, would, is there it? There would be, yeah, there actually would be. It would blow a big bubble, actually. Okay, so. Okay. I don't remember doing this really with the seven. I remember it's because oh, we used a manometer. We oh, didn't. Okay. We didn't so do. We didn't this. Even have any soap. We didn't do any soapy bubbles at all on it. I just remember getting it set up and taking a walk. Yes. Are those, do you need to do over here again? Are those considered big? Nope. Okay. That's just from the sprayer. Are you getting the edges enough? Yeah. We just got to get the rivet lines that we got to get. Because those are the tricky ones. <laughs> They are. Yeah. It smells good. It does. All right. Now let's get this in. Oh, let's get this in rib. A lot of times it'll leak up in these corners uh -huh. uh, you really got to make sure you put a good glob on the inside and then also on this rib not only the the aft flange uh -huh. that this ba that the baffle sits on oh. but you got to put a big bead of it on it kind of on the edge the inner edge of it too is your balloon too flat it it's still got some pressure in it but it's because of that gas tank so or you, that cap yeah so if you fill it up a little more yeah, it'll, let's pull then we'll be able to watch the yeah. bubbles too I'll have to edit it if we do see a bubble because I might say a few choice words. <laughs> okay. So back to spraying. Back to spraying. Do and I'm going to get this top. rear baffle. Do you need to do any more in there? No, nope. all looks good. I need to get down here. See, there's another spot where it can leak. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Okay. Okay. Now let's get back up in here. Oops. It's okay. Get my phone. <laughs> oh, yeah, watch, watch your phone. That's like now in 3D. Back on this baffle edge. So that's... uh. You know, obviously where you're putting in the uh, that bead all along the back side. How are you gonna get the soapy water off of all oh, of it? Well, just dry it all off. It'll be fine. It needs a bath anyway. I mean, when we. Are washing it when it's a real airplane. Yeah. You don't get soapy. When it's a real airplane. Yeah. Okay. One nice little spot out here. Oh, I was checking. Well, guess what? It doesn't leak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we are. We you feel, have, you're confident. I'm confident we have a leak free tank. Okay, but then what are you going to do with this, too? Well, okay, so we already tested this because I sprayed this while it yeah. was out. So, so but now what do good. you do to seal it? Nothing. Nothing now? Nothing. So, yeah, we don't, we don't need to seal it. Nothing now. 
No, nothing now. Nothing now because I already peeled this down and sprayed it. So. But then when you seal it, okay, so then you got to retest it. Well, no, no. You mean for our flanges? Yeah. Okay, so this is the stock Vans gap gas cap fuel cap. We are not going to use the stock Vans fuel cap. Right. We have some nice machined and air, but the cap is too small for this new flange style. So they're sending us a new machined flange that will get glued in versus they the meaning not Vans. And air. And yeah, air. not Vans. Yep, not Vans. No, this is totally aftermarket. It gets pro sealed and glued into inside of this flange. And when you're done, what I'm asking is that when you're done doing that, will we do the same test again? Nope. Oh. Nope, we're all good. Okay. Yeah, we are all set. All right, you feel good about that? I do. All awesome. right. <laughs>